Hello friends, my name is Anna and I'm the maker behind Crafter Hands. I'm an editor in the Caribbean and I'm coming to you from the beautiful Dominican Republic. The official language is Spanish, so please bear with me. And the temperature right now, it's about 32 degrees Celsius. Today is Saturday, the 8th of July. And this big mess that you see with me is my pile of whips. Well, most of them. I think I still have one or two projects more than I that I haven't found. So let's talk about whips, baby. First, let me tell you what I'm wearing. <laughs> I'm wearing my ranunculus, my gray ranunculus, made out of 100% cotton in DK. This is one of my shorter, shorter ones. This is cropped and short sleeve with a twisted rib. This is made with Katia Memphis, 100% cotton, DK, the color gray. They put, they put numbers in the color. So I'm gonna tell you the name of the color I think it is. Uh, so today I'm trying, I'm trying to block a little bit of the glare. I came to my little corner of my home office and I just piled the webs here. See if I have a little bit, a little bit of a better lighting here. And um, let's just start with this because it's a lot. First of all, I have, let me look for it. Okay, here it is. I'm making socks from 52 weeks of socks. I, I told my best friend we were gonna try and make at least six of this. We are we are still on the first one. She's way ahead of me. She's almost finishing the first pair. So I'm doing hardy shows. Hardy show. And this is how they look. And this is my web. This is the second time I'm trying this socks on. The first time, um, the first time I didn't have enough yarn and I was almost at the cup. I was gonna have, I wasn't gonna have enough to make two. So I decided to rip it, rip, rip. I decided to scrap it and start again. I'm using uh, Knit Picks, Hawthorne Picking Green in the Cosmic Speckle. And it's 20, 80% uh, Highland Wool, Superwash Highland Wool, 20% Polyamide and it's 350, 357 yards. Whip number one. Whip number two is the one that has my attention right now. Nita baby onesie. I'm almost finishing. This is um, Katia Nu Cancun, 50% cotton, 50% uh, acrylic, 100 grams is 250 meters or 273 yards, and I have a second one. I'm making it in the color blue, it has a little whale. I've this I'm not gonna recommend this pattern because I found it it's a free pattern in knit in Pinterest I found out it's a free pattern I believe the original was in Portuguese Portuguese or, um, and they they talk about purling all the time but they don't say to turn the work around or turn it. I think there's lots of little mis translation mistakes. 
the basic pattern it's okay but even even the whale uh, chart has a little bit of problems so I'm working on this one and I'm hoping to finish this by Monday so that I can go and find a little but, but I'm hoping to finish this by Monday so that I can go and buy some but some the the the, 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 but, the buttons so that I can go and find the and buy the buttons I already have yellow yarn to make another one but this one's gonna be without the chart so plain this is whip number two whip number three was one that I mentioned in my last podcast the first one I've ever made and this is This is the start of the Tresoro by Isabel Kramer. I love this pattern. I ripped it back once. This is the second time I'm doing it because the first time my gauge was off by a little bit, but that little bit was enough for it to fit closer to the body than I would like. So I went up a needle, a needle size and I started it again. This is whip number three. Whip number four. This is this pouch I bought at this pouch I bought uh, at Amazon, and it's made it's made for school projects I think, but it's very nice for for knitting because it's a mesh. And in here I have one lonely sock. This is the yarn. I had it here. Where is it? The yarn is static by Knit Picks. It's a finger in weight. The color is bolder. 100 grams. It's 75 75. 75% superwash wool and 25% nylon. It's super soft and super nice and I've started it. And the reason I haven't gone farther that I haven't done more with this one is because my husband is a stickler for matching socks. And as you can see this has this pattern and this pattern and in the ball they look the same so i haven't gone to the trouble or or, or i haven't gone to the trouble or of, of finding out where this little bit is whip number one, two, three, four. Whip number five. Another of the Amazon bags. Oh. Let me just find the. Okay, have it. Have it. This is the Illumination Cowl. And I bought this kit in lionbrand.com. And the yarn is LB for Lion Brand, Superwash Marina. This is the color Midnight, and I believe the other one is the color Taupe, I think. And this is me trying to do color work. This is the first time I've tried it. Since it's very hot here, it's never been a priority for me to put two yarns together. Whip 
whip number five. Whip number six is gonna be in this you so and so bag. I think this is one of my first knitting bags that I bought for myself. And this is Lindy Chain by Knit Picks, the color blue. This is 30, 70% uh, linen, 30% pima cotton, 50 grams. And this is my Aliso Creek top. My best friend uh, found this pattern in Bernal, B-E-R-N-A-L warm weather knitwear collection in uh, Kindle Unlimited. I'm gonna put the name here so that you can find it because it has lots of pretty patterns. This is not the only one that we're gonna make from this book. But this, I, I've worked on this I think last week so it's not a, an all whip. Another whip, and this is in a See Your Stuff bag. My best friend got me almost all of these, or I think all of them. And this is, well, the first crochet project. This is gonna be like a little tote bag and still missing about this much plus the handles and the reason i'm not working on this one is because i misplaced the hook i'm using a 4.5 millimeter hook and i just don't know where i put it next how many are this one two Three, four, five, six, seven. I think seven. Another throw shape one. This bag is from Netflix. Since I work on lots of things that go to the beach and to the sand and to anywhere, I love having um, plastic bags to protect them. And this is just a corner to corner scrappy blanket. It's almost windspan that way, but this way. I make a, a magic nut ball with my scraps when I have less than five or around five grams, I make a magic nut ball. And this is the second one. And this is an ongoing project. I have no, no end date for it. This is my way of dealing with scraps. This is a cosmetic bag. Oh. This is mindless knitting that goes in my work bag. This is a stripy blanket in gutter. And you just increase in one side. And I'm using 24-7 cotton decay in the color nightshade and 24-7 cotton decay prints in the color blue. I 
I don't think I'm gonna need two two balls of each color, but I have two balls of each of each color. This one goes in my work bag, so that if I have to wait anywhere, I don't have to think about it. I don't need a pattern. I just take it out and work on it. This is the same bag from Netflix, but this is a little smaller. But these are not whips. Thank God. These are the dishcloth, but I, I make them as washcloth for babies. I have sets of two with a bigger one and a smaller one. This color. This is uh, Bernat Handicrafter 100% cotton. I have this one. I don't think I'm gonna give this one to a baby. And then I have this ones that I'm making for the same baby that I'm making the Luanzi. I like making a bigger one and a smaller one. So maybe the mom wants to use them for the face or for burping or for drooling so that they have options and they can distinguish one from the other just in case i know the baby's a boy i'm very excited so i made this one with three this was a kind of a little heavier skein and uh, if you have boys, you have to cover them when you're changing the diaper. So I made this little one. Then maybe she wants to use it for that. A medium one and a larger one. And this, this one and the other, the blue and white set just need uh, weaving in the ends. So good for me, no whips. Oh, I know, I know what this is. This is my Summer Knuth by Els, Els, Elsabeth Judith. I've already made one in green. And this is kind of like a jean color, a blue jean color. And I'm making this with Katia New Cancun. Color is number 70. 50% acrylic, 50% cotton. Machine washable, if you want to. My last whip from the pile that I have is my shameful whip. I started this one, I think it's going to be two years ago. This is Katia New Cancun. In a gorgeous peachy color. No, in a gorgeous rose color. The number is 95. And this is the Fayet top. I, I think it's Irene Lin, the designer, but I'm gonna put the name here. This is the front. This is the back. It's a gorgeous top. I know I'm gonna love it. Has saddle shoulder. You start at the back, you, you pick up some stitches, and then you need the right side, the left side, and join them together. And the only reason, the only reason that I have not finished this is because I need to sit down with it and with a pattern. And most of the time, most of the time, I don't have so much time to knit 
in one sitting. So what I do is I love having things that I can take with me anywhere. And this is not one of those patterns, but I do love it. And I do want to finish it this year. My priorities right now are to finish the baby onesie and maybe start the second baby onesie that I, that I have with the uh, pale yellow because it doesn't take a lot of time. It doesn't take a lot of my concentration even. I already know where the, with the flaws in the pattern is. So I, I know the second one's gonna take me even less time than the first one. Then I wanna finish my husband's my husband's socks. I know I have two of them with the same, uh, in the same thing. I have one made and I don't have the second one. I'm not usually one with second sock syndrome, but this time those two won. And they've been, uh, I made them at least, at least six months ago. So, it's time for me to find the other one and just get on with it. Um, all of my sweaters I want to make. I know this one, even though I want to make it, needs for me to have a little bit more interior peace of mind. Because I don't even remember where I am. I'm, I, I for sure know that I, I've marked my my pattern. I have, uh, I use good notes in, I have, I use good notes in my tablet, in my iPad. So I know I have everything covered there, but I need to sit down with it and reacquaint myself with it. But I, I'm, I for sure want it. This is gonna be a project, a, a product knit. I really want to have the sweater. It's very feminine, very flowy, and I know I, I will enjoy it for week, weekend wear. But my priorities will be to finish at least one sock this month. The ones, the baby onesie, and depending of on my friend the Alisa Creek or the Tresoro or maybe both. So let's see how I get on with this. I do follow uh, Niri Nari's plan. I'm gonna sit down, check what I need to do with all of my patterns, all of my projects and divide it so that I can better assess the time that I need for each of them. Priority one will be the baby, the baby needs because I have the time now and I have the emotions. <laughs> I really am, I, I really have baby fever right now. So uh, I think baby pattern, it's gonna, it's the closest one to be finished. So I think that's gonna be priority one. Priority two, um, I want to finish, I want to at least uh, divide for uh, sleeves on the Tresoro and on the um, Summer Canoe. And I'm waiting on my best friend to to get ahead with her, Alisa Creek, so that I, I, like, I like knitting on the same time as her. I know it's it's kind of like a tandem thing, even if we're not together, we can talk about what we're doing. Sometimes we uh, do Zoom or FaceTime and we just knit together and it's very fun. So I don't wanna go ahead. It's not that I'm waiting for her because she's, uh, she makes me do it. It's, I like, I like working with her. And I'm not a monogamous knitter, as you can see. I'm not a monogamous, monogamous knitter at all. I always keep at least three to five knits. This is a little much for me. All this, it's a little bit too much for me. But most of the time I have three to five projects 
depending on I have one sock or I have two. I like working on different things depending on my mood. I hope you enjoy my shameful confessions. Oh, before we go, I have some acquisitions or, well, my best friend came uh, from Puerto Rico and I had bought some yarn and she brought it. She, she was kind enough to buy it for me when she went to the United States. I've never had Malabrigo before. And I asked her, I asked her if she could buy it for me. And she found me this beautiful Malabrigo uh, Ultimate Sock 341 Neverland. And it's called Sheep Thrills. <laughs> And it's so soft and squishy. It's so nice. Then, because she is so nice, she also got me a few gifts. She got me this. She comes from Puerto Rico, and Puerto Rico has a coqui as a kind of like a national frog so she brought me this tea towel and I love it she also got me scissors for earrings I don't have them on because I wanted to show it to you before I put it up I put anything on the Maravillo was a total of four so that I can make a nice cozy long sleeve oh, this is so soft Sorry about the knives. Let me see if I can put everything here. Yeah. She got me a total taste. <laughs> Isn't it cute? She got me, which is, she's so nice. She shouldn't have done this, but that's just how she, who she is. She got me the Coco Needs Makers Keep. keep um, your stitch markers she got me to I'm sorry about the clinking the clinking I'm in love with gnomes. I really love gnomes and bees. And she got me these stitch markers. Or progress keepers. And
I feel like Christmas in July. Needle stoppers. I was waiting. Ah, oh my gosh. Can you tell I'm so excited? So cute. So that's it for today. You saw my whips. You saw my new acquisitions and gifts. And I'm very grateful that you give me a chance. I know there's lots of great podcasters. I follow most of them. Um, so thank you so much for your time. Please leave a comment. Tell me if I'm doing something that you like so I can keep doing it. And see you next time. <laughs> Bye.